Although Maple Story isn't the most popular game in the world, some items in this game are still crazy enough and can easily be a down payment towards a new car. Well, maybe not a Bugatti or a Lambo, but a new car nevertheless. Here's my top 10 list for the most expensive items in this game, based on my knowledge of the market and what I see behind the scenes of various trades. There are a few items that I leave out because they're almost non-existent, such as a triple prime B-Pot shield or a double or triple prime attack B-Pot Seren emblem. Also, these prices are based on Barrel World as of the making of this videos, and prices change depending on supply and demand. There is no guarantee that the prices will stay exactly the same. Sitting at number 10, we have Genesis Badge and Seren Emblem. I kind of categorized both of them as the same thing because they're both around the same amount and they're dark frost set drops and currently they go for around 1k to 1.3k but they're expected to drop as more and more people do Saren with more authentic force and more drops means a lower price. Uh, remember in the beginning these actually sold for over 2k. At number 9 we have Lucid Earrings. Lucid Earrings were so cheap back then they were around like max mesos back when meso rate was 1 to 20 so it was like 600 bucks but now they're way more than that and I people selling them for 180 bills so right now they're sitting around 1k to 1.3k which is just an absurd amount of money for a lucid bind in my opinion but i guess some classes really do need lucid bind Say at number 8, we have Fire Starter Ring. Fire Starter Rings were, again, really cheap back then. They were around 600. I paid like 100 bill for mine. And they were even cheaper back then, too. And right now, they cost anywhere from 1.3 to 1.5k. Fire Starter Rings are really nice to have, but it's just not really worth the amount, in my opinion, because Fire Starter Service is pretty easy to find, assuming you train at normal hours and not complete degen hours. At number 7, we have 6 line secondaries, and what that means mainly is just 3 line attack of B pots, because cubing 3 line attack B pot is almost impossible on secondaries. You really don't go for them, you just buy them, and it's just a lot cheaper. And right now they're selling for around 2k. Most of these 6 line secondaries are for the adult class and for the night lord class because they're basically the most played class in this game. At number 6 we have a bod. Bod actually dropped quite a bit. Back when COVID hit, I think bods were going for 2 to 3k. There are people that are actually crazy enough to pay 3k for a bod back when it was worth like 2.5. I don't know why, but you know, they did. So. Right now, Bod's actually sitting at 2k. I really don't see a use for them, they just make the game boring. And that's why I traded mine in for some items instead to gain some stats instead of just having a Bod. Don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying this video so far. And now moving on to number 5, we have 22 star dark boss set items that are either 5 or 6 line. And these could go anywhere from 2.5 to 3k depending on the item. So right now, the Source of Suffering, Endless Terrors tend to be on the expensive end. Although Source of Suffering is pretty easy to make with the transfer hammer and there are really very few booms. And number 4, we have 3 line crit damage gloves and these only come around during cubo equalities. And and there are only a handful of them. I know in Barra, there are probably only four for each class maximum. And I haven't really seen many outside of that. They're super hard to roll. You can only roll them with equalities. Black cubes, you can actually do it, but I've only seen that done once in Reboot. For number three, we have 22 Star Outlaws. 22 Star Outlaw are usually slightly more expensive than the Dark Boss set items because just how much it costs to actually replace an Outlaw, and they're just so rare nowadays, you never find a clean Outlaw. Right now, 22 Star Outlaw would say go for our anywhere around 2.5 to 3k on the low end depending on the amount of lines it has. At number 2 we have 22 star bots. Same reason as the outlaw, these bots are really so hard to get in the Marvel or Philo books that finding a replacement is near impossible. Right now they're going for anywhere for 6k to 6.5k. Number 1 we have the almighty Frenzy Totem. Frenzy Totems have been up there for the longest time ever since Nexon removed it from GMS. And right now they're going for anywhere around 5k to 6k. And back then they were actually costing at the highest points close to 
7 or 8k even. I think people actually bought one for 8.5k too. Are there any items I missed? Let me know in the comments below. Even though these are the most expensive items in the game, I've got my selection of favorite items because of their usefulness. Check out this video next to see some of the most useful items in Maple Story based on my opinion. Special thanks to M for Murder for joining my membership and supporting the channel. If you would like to support my videos as well, hit that join button down below. I'll talk to you all in the next video.